I'm not perfect. I tell people every single person have one or two flaws. Take for instance, David was a man after God's heart, but he still killed people. He still stole someone's wife. Abraham was a friend of God, but he still killed people, and he's still yeah. the friend of God. He's still a businessman. He was he was even trying to see how he can even get you know wealth from other states, and he has to lie that Sarah wasn't his wife. Yeah. And he had to come back again. He did that like twice or three times. Yeah, about nobody's perfect. No single person is perfect. So don't let anybody believe that there's one perfect man in this world. There's nobody that is perfect. Yeah. Even Bishop himself would have had a lot of ups and downs. Nobody's oh, perfect. Yeah. But the same thing I will also say is, is God that is actually keeping any man. God, why God is keeping you, keep yourself. Because the Bible says, watch and pray. It didn't say pray and watch. He knows that prayer is very important. But he said, first watch. And that's why he even said, Our Father who art in heaven, I know be thy name, thy kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. And our daily bread. So definitely there's a, there's a process. Even God himself knows that you have to first watch. Shine your eyes and go and pray. So that's why that's why when when you need something you can't just tell God Lord I need a house okay what type of house it's like it's like you you are asking a child what do you want and they say I need a bicycle or I just need a phone okay fine you say you need a phone as a child and then the father goes to buy you know this old phone then of yari 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 and then he gets it for you and you're like ah but daddy this is not what I I asked for now I mean phone like more like like iPhone 13 and then, now you are talking. You only said phone. You're not specific. You're not specific about what you want. So more often than not, I discover that a lot of us pray without specification. That is why it takes longer time to get worse. There's a process too in heaven that they deliver goods, deliver blessings. So now let's 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 take for instance. Let me quickly do this. Let's say the, the both of us now are workers in a company, yeah. right? And then somebody chats you up and say, oh, I need your product. And then I need it uh, by tomorrow. Um, what I want is I want your wristwatch. Yes, yeah, so let's say, let's take for instance, we, your wristwatch is the product you're selling. We now say, okay, we want the wristwatch. Now, we say we want your wristwatch, right? I am ordering for your wristwatch. And I said, I need your wristwatch, that exact type of wristwatch by tomorrow. Mm. And then someone who is texting you and say, I need wristwatch, but I don't know which one I want. Yeah, and I and he will tell you that oh I have the money, but somebody who is serious that will quickly give you the cash and you quickly supply. He's the one you first concentrate on that. Oh yeah, exactly, yeah. What exactly do you want? So the moment you are not done, that's where you will discover even business wise or anybody you not be like oh thank God now you now have my time. Okay sir, what do you now want sir? <laughs> yes, because the person is stressing you. That is the same yeah, way exactly. it is even sending your message to heaven. I have to tell you today, I'm not in heaven, but I put myself in their shoes. Because we are God, definitely we think like it, like them. Yeah. So putting yourself in their shoes, you discover that you have to, for every reason, be specific about what you want. Now, if you want to blow, how do you want to blow? Explosion, limelight, globally. Uh -huh. if, if you want to be of impact, is it the godly way or, or the ungodly way? There's no two way about it. I'm not going to tell you that um, everything you... Uh, you are trying to do your talent, go go the godly way. Yes, the godly way is rough and is, I mean, there are a lot of ups and downs. The, the, the worldly way too is also the same thing. But whichever you prefer, go for it. Even the Bible speaking, it said, I have given you choice. This is life and death. This is light and darkness. But I advise you, choose light. It's not for sin. So that on the last day, when, you, when we go and meet with the Lord, you say, well, I gave you a choice now. This is what you said you want to choose. It's not on me. So the jokes yeah. is back on you. So that simply means exactly. So I mean, I I, I like the way God actually operates. He tried to make his thing that oh, it's not in my hand though. It's in your hand. So when I'm punishing you, uh -huh, yeah. when I'm punishing you, it's you that took yourself there. And so what kept me going is God, consistency, dedication, creativity, prayer, and fasting. Prayer. And you should fasting. not eat too much. The Philistines complain about Jesus' disciples. They say, why do your disciples eat too much? Anything enters their mouth. And that is why anything can happen 
where why do you discover that when jesus wanted to tell speak to them on the last supper night why did they have to put food on their table why can't he have a brief bedroom meeting because he knew yeah. they like to eat they like to eat and then that was the same night they they had they forgot every single thing and then the following time betrayer came up so whatever we are doing let's know that um, god there's nothing you want to do without god he brought you to this we don't even know how we got to this life. So why are you stressing yourself? Just give respect to whom respect is due and then live your life. Enjoy it. God bless yes. you. Amen. So our final question, um, I'm just going to read it because this one is a long one. Okay. Is doing an impression of Papa a full-time thing or is there a part-time or side job you met with? Okay, so... <laughs> This question, I've always tried to skip it from everywhere, but I'm going to be sincere this night. Um, mimicking Bishop David Oedepo is not my full time job. By privilege, I happen to have a company that I run yeah. as the CEO, so um, it's not like I'm seated in somewhere and I say, Okay, oh, son of the prophet, okay, whenever I shows. I'm going to say everything I've made in son of the prophet together together since when i've started off is not up to four hundred thousand. wow yes i have to be very sincere with you wow. all the suits i'm getting all the clothes all the 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 gadgets the everything you think if it's from son of a prophet i won't i would i would have upgraded to where i am today <laughs> do you understand so it has to do with you trying to do whatever you do and the nigeria that we have you can't stay on one job you have sure. to be an entrepreneur That's investor that. That's the just keep investing. Yeah, <laughs> just keep investing the little that you have. Just keep investing and keep investing. So, sort of the prophet is one thing that I do that makes me happy. And that's why I tell people that you can't stop it because it's my own joy. It makes me happy when I do it. It might be stressful. I have to be sincere with you, but it's something that makes me happy when I do. I'm happy when I when when uh, um, the grace of the Lord come upon me to have the privilege to mimic Bishop David Oedipo. So. Um, son of a prophet is not is not a full time job, but it is uh, one of those things for stepping stone. And I'm not stopping anytime soon. Like I said, we are taking it to the whole new level, whole new level. Yeah. Like of, of of recent, I was I was asking um, persons who are interested in acting to also join the crew. So we want to want to do something different, way way yeah, different. <laughs> No, yes, not something that we all know before. Uh, yeah, the normal sort of red kind of lifestyle and everything, you know. And that's where creativity comes. The creativity in God, He will not give you something that will just be only this thing. Yeah. It keeps unfolding. It keeps mm-hmm. unfolding. The more you grow, it keeps unfolding. So we are we are in the time of reunfolding into limelight. So Son of the Prophet yeah. is something that makes me happy. It gives me joy. I love to do it and I would love to keep doing it. Even if I come to this world again, I would love to make great men of God to be where, you know, God has put them. Because I know tomorrow, who knows, tomorrow someone too might pick up mimicking me and I would have already been great. That would also be a stepping stone for them too to get up and encourage them any little way I can. So, that's it. Yeah. One final question. This question is for me. Yes, yes ma'am. No, Allah. So, the question basically is, with some of the prophet, like, what do you aim, like, what's the vision? What do you aim to do with it? Like, what kind of impact do you hope to make, you know, in the lives of people oh. when they see you um, in Mimic Bishop Reading for, like, what's, what's that? And also, I'll merge, I'll merge the two questions together because of time. And also, like, um, I think a lot of times I've heard people, you know, say things like, oh, um, this thing shouldn't be in the church, for example. Like, I was I, I was having a, a, like a debate with someone once, and the person was like, they don't think comedy or anything like that should be in the church because it's not scriptural. I'm like, but I just feel like, okay, God has a sense of humor, so there's nothing wrong with, with like, having, like, comedy or, like, that kind of entertainment in the church ex- if it's not, like, worldly, you know? If it's something that is godly, because yeah. we ought to laugh in the house of God. So what's your take? I don't know if you got my two questions. I kind of merged. Okay, so let me start. Let me start from the second one. Let me start from okay. the second question. So for the second question, this has really been a great debate in churches. Um, I won't. I won't. I won't go. 
I won't dive too much into it. So, you know, you know how people go on social media and they start saying he said he did. Yes, you can quote me for whatever I say. But I will actually tell you that um, having comedy in the house of the Lord, it's not a sin. Yeah. It's not a sin. The Bible say, for you shall laugh. So if there's nothing funny at your front, you can't laugh. <laughs> True. There have to be some. There's something always prompting laughter. I can't just sit down like this and suddenly, ha ha ha. Then the person is mad. <laughs> so you understand? Bishop cracks jokes during his sermons. That's another thing people so, don't realize. Wait, wait, you know people, people, people will not look at it that way. People will not look at it that. People will look at it more like oh, he's just speaking and we are laughing to it. Bible says. Cracks jokes. <laughs> Bible said. Bible said, for you shall laugh. Right, that's one. The second one was, I I loved God's creation when God was creating the earth. Do you know when God was creating the earth? I I really prayed to God for the grace to understand creation. Now, when God was creating the earth, He had already created the earth before. So it, it was without void, it was without form, right? And then the earth was just dark. At that moment, God created the earth. But should I not tell you something? It, it, it might shock some people is that according to the Bible, that point, it means God created the earth alone when he first created the earth. He didn't have anybody. So he was working on himself. Now, the second time when he said, let's now create man, I'm very sure there was a joking, there was there was a joke there. Because even for him to say it that way, like, oh yeah, let's 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 create man in our image. A joint body, that kind of thing. Like, <laughs> he, he, I'm very sure you would have cracked a, a. We all see God according to the Bible, or according to the way we picture God is one ancient man with the big mustache and then carrying the, the yeah. big stuff and saying, Abracadabra, you disappear, you come back. <laughs> it's quite mm. funny. According to Revelation, God is a, is a neat, young looking person, a man rather, or less a spirit. He's very young looking strong nice i mean when i read revelation down and i and i saw the point of the new jerusalem where i say he's going to come and die with us and then the way they described him as young i'm like wow i mean so that means for god to be young i'll be a baby maybe we join my hand and say oh myself yeah why <laughs> uh, you know so anything we do we will laugh and that simply means there have to be something prompting laughter when someone is sad, you can't just be sad anyhow. There's something prompting sadness. Yeah. So definitely, whatever we, 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 we say concerning, oh, um, bringing comedy to the church of God, the only thing that just happened is comedians misuse the opportunity. That yeah. I must say. That I must say. You know, there are some of them that when, they, when you give them the privilege, they say something out of, out of like, you just be like, you start regretting that, why did I give this person? So it will be most time, it will be one of those mistakes that those comedians make that make the pastor to get hungry or make I'm the members to say, why would they, to... yes, why would they say this kind of thing in the church? Why would they, you know, this was not what you said during auditioning. And you, they will not tell you that it's inspiration. <laughs> Hello, sir, you're on the altar. Inspiration <laughs> must not catch you on the altar like that. Oh, at all. Crazy. If we should catch on the other like that, it must be a godly what inspiration because that's what we move. And most comedians, you want to come and crack joke in the church and you're not reading your Bible. How? It's true because you know the thing that another spirit can just even take, take over if you are not spiritual and then you that's the thing. So you, you, di you didn't read, you don't even know some, some, some of these comedians. They only read the Bible to make this. You don't even know what the exactly. Bible is saying. So how do you expect that? Imagine there was a time, there was a time, I have to be sincere, I wrote full sermon of 10 minutes. And then I said, okay, this was what I was going to go and say on the altar. And do you know when I got to the, to, to the program, before they called me, Holy Spirit said, you are speaking on prayer and fasting. And the program is a praise program. And I was wondering, how, how where do I want to start from with prayer and fasting? And they're going to come in the next 10 minutes. So I was like, Jesus, how will I? Where? I said, Lord, you said this was what I was going to preach. So you have prepared the sermon. If that's not what is in my book. Oh, yeah. 
let's go together. At least you cannot draw me to to bad thing and leave me there. You can never draw me to even good thing and leave me there. You stay with me today, today we die here. <laughs> and, you know, I had that in mind. And then I got to the altar that day, and do you know as I was speaking, people were really blessed because they were like, well, we came to praise, but something about prayer and fasting. Then immediately after then, the next pastor that came up to preach spoke about prayer and fasting. Wow. Yes. Oh, your voice is low now. I really can't hear you. Barely hear you. Oh, yes, a little. No, I was just saying that your, your, your presentation has prepared the ground for the sermon. Yeah, so, you know, uh, 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 preparation spiritually because you have to be connected. And that's why they say your connectivity determines your collectivity in the spiritual realm. You need to know that for sure. So you have to be prepared. So most comedians are not prepared spiritually before climbing the altar. Some forget to even pray. Some just wake up in the morning at well, normal thing. And they, they, I mean, they want the, 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 the fame, the, the, the thing to just quickly happen in this church that I did this. I mean, it's not that easy. I have to be sincere with you. And then this celebrity lifestyle is not easy. Don't let anybody deceive you. I mean, someone was telling me that I want to be like you. I said, no, be yourself. If you get to be um, who I am today, yes, good for you. You will pay. You are a celebrity. You have to be financially okay. Because you keep up with data. You keep up with teamwork. Yes, paying some people on set. And then there are some places you go to that they will tell you that you cannot live till you pay. So they don't want to even know maybe you're a spiritual person or not. You have to just pay them that money. You have to pay it. Very, very important. So that 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 has been, I feel that has been the main reason why, you know, um, um persons will say, oh, uh, you know, having having comics in, in between lines during church program is actually wrong and everything. But I have to be very sincere with you, according to the Bible. So we quote scriptures and we don't understand what we quote. You cannot laugh if there's nothing prompting laughter. You cannot be sad if there's nothing prompting sadness. That's madness when it actually happens. Yeah, I can hear you, but um, very low. Are you serious? I don't know why. Okay. No, no, it's not. Okay. Okay, so um, um, you know, a lot of people just quote the scriptures and really don't um, understand what they what they are quoting. So that 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 there, and then the second question you asked, if uh, I think you asked, sorry, come again with the, the first question rather. Okay, yeah, the first question was basically your vision about um, okay. some of the so now, like, what's Oh yeah, so now we can hear you very clear. Yeah. Okay, so um, first off. Where the Son of Prophet is actually heading in the next few years, it's supposed to be a secret anyways, but in the next few years, what we should be expecting is and we are trying to make sure that we encourage young persons who have the ability, not only mimic, but the ability to hack godly things. Mm. You know, because I discovered that uh, um, there are no lot of encouragement in the Christian realm. Let's be sincere with ourselves. I mean, uh, when you do something, it's still the same persons that are encouraging that are bringing you down. Some people will encourage you in your front and at your back, they are doing the other thing. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that, that basically is where we are heading to, trying to impact people because impactation is very important. Wherever you get to in life, you have to impact persons. No matter how small you are, you have to impact. I mean, there was a time where someone sent me a message on Instagram, all the way from Zimbabwe, and then um, um, the person sent me a message on Instagram, and then the person, you know, we had one-on-one -on -one conversation, and I and I just gave the person my WhatsApp number. I said, oh, let's talk. And WhatsApp was like, wow. So you give people your personal number. I said, yes, I'm human being like you, sir. I eat. I go to sleep. <laughs> I'm human like you. And then he was he was really amazed. I said, wow. So there are people like you that can do this type of thing. And, do you know, most times I, I, I do Saturday prayers, you know, even with people online, and I don't do it on Instagram because I'm not impressing anybody. It's people that I know that are actually interested and all. 
And do you know when 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 everything actually happened? The Lord started using me. And then you know, I, I, I told him about something and boom, that's how his career started changing. Life testimony. He gave the testimony, it's not even me that was even concerned about it. He gave this testimony and I was like, Wow. So you mean what if I did not start son of the prophet? What would have happened to his testimony? Not by pride. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it simply means that whatever God has given to you is for an uplifting of somebody. So the mm -hmm. moment you don't pick it up, you have increased that person's years of labor more. Yeah. Absolutely. So that person's years of labor is the one at stake. So I try to live my life like, okay, I'm impacting someone and I'm impacting the future. And I try my best to make sure I put everybody together. We had, like I told you today, we had a shoot. I had to rush down home because of the live session. Yeah, and then, you know, yeah. trying, to, trying to talk to all the team members. And they really, really, really did a great job today, I must say. I'm, I'm complimenting them, you know, <laughs> on live. They really did a great job. And, you know, we, we tried to do... <laughs> no problem, no problem. Yeah. We'll post it next week. So, um, um, you know, giving, giving them that opportunity, that platform for them to also, you know, put out their best act. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot because I was looking at it that what, assuming I have somebody that was like me when I was coming up, I would have gone further. But, sure. but, the, but the only thing there is I might not be who I am today. I might have gone astray. But, you know, God, God built me to be who I am today so as to help other people who are coming up. Yeah. So that that basically is what we are trying to do as, as son of the prophet. So son of the prophet now is now a full blown company. I would say because we are trying to do things that are godly, trying to pitch godly things, and that's why I try to um, uh, um, that's why I try to send a um, message to my 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 great friend who also mimic that he and Deboye or you know I had to send him a message that oh let's do a skit together. And it was really am, am amazing. We had actually done the skit together. And then um, also I, I received a call too from um, one other person who mimics that you look all here very well. Okay. And then that we, are, that we are working on this on, on the script and shooting very soon. And what am I trying to insinuate is that God has given me by grace the, the platform. So it's high time I let people to also live on the platform. Not every time you must see my face. Why yeah, don't I give other people also the privilege for their voices to be heard? And who can tell? That might be their limelight. That might be where they would actually get the breakthrough. Might be through me. So make yourself available for God to use. Because we are all for the master's use. Tomorrow can come, we might be no more. Social media will still remain. So definitely, when we go to meet with the Lord, we are not taking Instagram. That's why I tell people, these 30,000 followers and all is on the earth. I'm not taking it anyway, so why can't I use it to post people? That's why I post some people graduation pictures, some people musical video. They are not paying me for it. I'm just doing it out of love and out of just impacting, you know, getting things done. And that is the two question answered. Now I can barely hear you. Sorry, sorry, I can barely hear you. Uh, Chai, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yes, I can hear you now. Good. Yes, awesome, awesome. I said I hope to be in one of your skits one day. <laughs> yes. No, Allah, <laughs> no, Allah, we we'll, we'll work that out. No problem. So that yes, so that I can, I just I just want to be in a like in the same video so I can keep it. I keep it for my children. <laughs> <laughs> to see that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Thank you yeah, so sure. much. I learned a lot. I had a great, great time. You, I think I really enjoyed just hearing your story, like hearing it from because you, when you watch people, you know, you have speculations. You just think, okay, maybe it's like this, but hearing it like the same of the horse's mouth, like hearing your own story, your experience. I think particularly, I was like, thirty auditions. That that's not true. that's not it's not been so like it's not yeah. just like you know, it's not like they're even paying me for this. I mean so, people yeah. even to date when I share the testimony, people don't believe. But people that we, we 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 went up together then that um, knew me then 
I mean, my own friends then did not believe in me that it was going to fly. It got to a point that a lady that knew me then, she was like, wow, you, like, you are too patient that I can't, I can't just have such patience. Like, it's just too, five years, that's your audition. I said, see, is that just the way it is? Whatever, whatever I want to do in life, I sit back. I don't just jump into it. I pursue. And David asked the Lord. He said, Lord, if I go, Lord, should I go first? That's the question. The first question he asked. He said, okay, go. I said, okay. He came back. Lord, if I go, we love that. Thing. Don't let me just go for fun. I have to bring exactly. something back, back I, Yeah. And he said, okay, now go and overtake and recover all. So definitely, yeah. uh, that, that is just it. That's just it. So yeah. you overtake and recover all. So Thank you so much. And so I was asking, like, how did you start? But please just watch. I'm going to share it so that you'll see it. Like, that's just what it is. I even know how it started, how the inspiration came and also. Yeah. So, yeah, it's the moment me I've been waiting for. Yes, <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. So if you, if you stay to this moment, congratulations. We made it. <laughs> so he's just going to do, like, a short impression for us, like, before we round up this live session, I've had a wonderful time. Like, I've had like best start today. Yeah. That's well. <laughs> okay. So, please, over to you. Over. I'm going to turn off the comments again so that it's clear and all. Pardon me, everybody. Yeah. Over to you, sir. Okay, ma. <laughs> okay. Um, hello? Give God thanks, everyone. Amen. I'm so glad today to be my lovely daughter, the same woman. Um, this is a great woman, I must say, trying to do everything to work in the kingdom of the Lord. It's one thing to know what to do, it's another thing to do it well. I'm so glad, I'm so glad. It's a great privilege, I must say, and to be here today with everybody, my sons and daughter in faith. I'm so pleased and happy to be here today. And there's one thing I want to tell you all. Patience is key to everything. Patience, wait for it. Habakkuk 2 verse 6 says, Right, so we make it clear until the Himiro, the Red, it was a time. Good point. For all the end, it's a soul is fake. And it's a soul is fake. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> it will definitely speak. No matter what you do, it will speak. Wait for it. Um, like they say, the, the patient don't get the father's bow. Wait for it. Your turn will come. Mafia go allow go she show. Your turn will definitely come. It might look like it's not going to look like it. But I tell you today, the patience, patience, patience. The faith of Anaku was not built overnight, but it was built over time. Financially, it was built over time. When the church commission was about to get into full-blown um, church, everybody started. In 1983, May 3rd, uh, we were starting off the church, and then the church total income was 50 naira. And even at there, we were trying to give a lot of people um, financial support. But we're having nice times having God. Uh, and when our mockers we come and laugh and laugh, also we have to chant for at the end, you should speak. Those mockers today, we are there. When we are flying, they are trekking. Amen. So in life, whatever you do, don't rush before your time. Your time will definitely come. You enjoy it, you receive it, and see how God is going to bring you to greater rays of glory. And I pray for each and every one of you today that the grace of patience is released upon you tonight in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Things will begin to fall in place, in pleasant places for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The last thing to see is the last we ever see in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray today that every single person under the sound of my voice, the grace of the Lord will hold you to limelight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I love you all and I hope to see you accomplishing greater things in life for you shall become a night flyer and a trailblazer in life in the mighty name of Jesus. Stay blessed and God bless you. Thank you very much. Sorry, I, I, hope I wasn't like I don't know how you managed to keep a straight face because I was laughing. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was great, great. Thank Papa, you can allow you to go so you can prepare for service tomorrow. You know, you have me tomorrow. Okay. Days, so I don't Definitely. want to, I, I don't want to keep one. you. you know, <laughs> but I think before we go, I just want us to you know just pray for you. Uh, you can put your prayers as a comment. You can pray wherever you are. I just want us to pray that the grace of God will keep, you know, this young man, that God will keep him yeah. in his presence yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. that this work he's yeah. doing, that he, work, that he will do greater work than this 
in the mighty yeah. name of Jesus. I just pray that God will grant him favor. He will grant him the right yeah. association in the mighty name of yeah. Jesus. And Lord, yeah. just cover him with the precious blood of Jesus. That in everything Lord he does, oh God, that you will prosper his ways in the mighty name of Jesus. That whatever he needs, oh God, that there will be provision in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. And even concerning his marital Amen. life, I pray that he will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. That helper Amen. that you have ordained for him shall come yes, his Lord. way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we Amen. thank you for his son. And we just ask thank that you just, come, just take your place in his yes, life yes, in the Lord. mighty yes, name of Jesus. And the next time we'll be Amen. speaking, it shall be testimonies Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wow, thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you, you very so much. Thank you for your busy schedule. Please go and get some rest. Thank you so, so much. I'm so, so grateful. Yes, yes, thank, you. thank you so much for having me, for having my brand. It's a great privilege, I must say. And then, please, every single person, keep doing what you know how to do best to edify the name of the Lord. It might take time, but wait for your time. Your time mm. will definitely come. And then uh, uh, um, very soon we'll also be accepting people who would love to be part of our, uh, of our shoots, you know, from all around. If you are close by, you can travel down. We'll try our best to start shooting things that are lengthy. And let's see how that goes. And then there's actually, there's actually a particular project we're working on. And I'm a sincere. Once we are done with that project, I have to keep it private. Actually, this doesn't have to do with the church or anybody. This is a, uh, um, something on the Son of Prophet brand and his team. Mm. When we are done with this project, I mean, this will be the first of its kind of every Christian drama in the world. Wow. So just watch out for it. Watch out for it. It's, it's coming very soon. <laughs> watch out for it. We are trying, we are trying. <laughs> We are trying our best to, to, to work well on the production and then the scripting. So just, just please do stay connected and then um, any little way I can. My DMs are open. You can only send me a message. Um, if it's something that need be that I send my contact, I can. But please do make sure also that my contacts are made private. Don't be, you know, sharing up and down and then receiving a lot of messages <laughs> I'm not supposed to. They are very important. So thank you so much, Sable Man. I'm really glad. And then I saw, uh, um, I saw, uh, what's her name? Um, the second. Blood. Yes, I'm telling you, I saw. I'm like, oh, hope you are not coming to spy on me, because she, after she this live now. She said it's because of you that she didn't do. That you guys didn't do your live. I was like, oops. oops <laughs> yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. About it, and I'll, be, I'll make, I'll try to be there as well. No yeah. problem, ma. No problem, ma. So sorry, so sorry. I, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, you know, for yours. But I'll, I'll try my best to pull up on that when we fix the next date, and then hope to see everybody again. I love you all from wherever you're watching from all around the world. Please do follow the Savior Man. Do follow her on on YouTube, and then oh, on, on on you. Instagram. Please follow her. Follow her. She's really doing a great job. You know, oh, the, in the gospel, in the gospel way, trying to pull up all the things. I mean, I love all your content on YouTube, trying to put everything, and even B Vlog. She's also doing a great job. You can follow them. I mean, these are women that I know are pulling things for Christ, and then I'm really Thank glad you. about what you are doing. I'm, I'm glad about your content. Keep doing that which God has sent you, and then we'll meet someday. And then I know it's going Yay, to be in a greater yes. place. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very so much, much. man. Yes, right. have a thank you everyone interest. for Good joining day. me thank you so much yes thank you very much goodbye thank you for staying to the, till the end thank you yes ma'am thank you very much okay. goodbye Bye. Bye.